Hi everyone, this is part three and I hope you are still with me and I've left you uh, at the end of the second part with uh, not knowing how to uh, decorate uh, my uh, greeting card that is going into the box and this I waited for it to dry I've just attached this uh, accordion that was made from uh, the gaming cards uh, here and the only thing I've done is put um, this is a velcro dot that I've put uh, here so there will be closure at first I, I thought of uh, doing something with the ribbon and tying a nice uh, nice here but then I thought I prefer it like this that it can be tucked into a bag and not take a lot of place so I'm keeping it uh, simple and I've added just words that I went and just uh, went uh, on the edges with a felt pen regular felt pen so uh, this is it I really like it I'll probably do more because it's a nice uh, thing to make so this is finished and remember this is only was made from a game game uh, cards this ones so it's nice to reuse something that is not uh, usable anymore and I didn't know what to do I wasn't satisfied with how I decorated the background for the other cards so I experimented and what I came out at the end is uh, I took these are two metallic uh, gouache paints very cheap they are uh, supposed to be for children but I use them all the time and I just took with a makeup uh, sponge the gold and went all over my book page and to give it more interest uh, I went with this I don't know bronze if you can call this shade of metallic and went over the edges and only after everything was dry I stamped uh, and I'm going to show you how I, what I made of it so here it is and as you can see gold on the inside and I went over the edges with the bronze and then I used uh, several stamps I have to decorate of course uh, now I have to um, I will uh, write with a permanent uh, marker our sentiments and greetings for the birthday so this is it this is what's going inside the box now the box is outside at the moment I've sprayed it with gold spray as I said I would and it needs to be done outside the fumes are just terrible I'll uh, check on it and come back I'm back so here is my uh, box and as you can see I've sprayed it with the gold uh, spray but it's uh, I don't like that it's all one uh, color I want to give it more I don't know highlights for that m <laughs> matter uh, when it's all solid color no matter if you have texture to me it feels like plastic so I want to add something to it I'll probably use this is uh, also bronze uh, metallic it's a uh, heavy acrylic and I'll probably uh, use it here now here is my uh, cards that are go supposed to be inside going inside the box like so and what I thought uh, to do is also use the velcro dots here and here so you can remove it if you want to and still use the box or even just take it out from here and then you can put other stuff uh, inside the box so I'm going to do this to put the velcro dots and 
well I'll do it later and I want to move along and uh, I bought in my cheap store and cheap store I'm talking about the equivalent here to Dollar Tree or Poundland something like that I found this stuff in the children's section it says super light clay and that it dries in air so I said what the worst that could happen and I'll try it and I, because I'm not uh, gonna uh, use polymer clay it's too expensive for me if I don't use it a lot to so it's not uh, something uh, worth uh, for me to start playing with so I uh, started playing with this kind of uh, what to call it it's like uh, when you pull it out it's more like slime if you can see but uh, I played with it as you can see and it, this needs to be a uh, of course painted and it's going to go here so that's what I've done I try to make it look here like something is peeling and this is just a uh, heart so moving along from my experiments here we go uh, I'm going to take some brush and I want to try and uh, how do you call it dry brush the bronze at least on the edges like so now because I've used a spray a paint I'll probably need uh, to use, uh, after it's dry, I'll need to use some kind of varnish because it's almost like oil and water and uh, it doesn't really go well so, and that's uh, was something that I, I knew I will have to deal with and will hope for the best that I'll manage to keep it there I'm moving with the brush on all the wrinkles so it will be more interesting than the than just the gold in the background like so going over the edges yeah okay enough with this now I'm going for this piece and I don't know why I'm thinking about metallic green and I'm gonna try and see how it goes as I said, uh, most of the time I'm planning and doing something and I do a prototype and after I do a prototype only then I'm filming, a, I'm making a video so you can see how to make it this time you are watching that prototype <laughs> I didn't do, I just had the ID and I went for it let's see it will probably need uh, two coats and I'm thinking that I need uh, maybe to try and put the gold in also we'll see as we move along or maybe the gold will be only the highlights I don't know, we'll see. Never worked with this stuff, so I don't know how it would take. 
I mean the this <laughs> slime clay that I've picked up. Okay, this needs to dry before I'm uh, trying anything. I'm thinking I really need another coat, but it needs to dry. And let's move this and I'll paint this one. I want was red. And let's see what I've got in that department. And I've got deep red, I've got what this one's bright red. Well, let's see what happens. This will probably also need the two coats. <clears throat> yeah, definitely two coats. took me some time to make this heart. I'm not really good at uh, things that are like uh, 3D. I don't know how to, uh, sculpturing. I really am not good with it. So it was really long time to make this. Okay, this needs to dry, this needs to dry, <laughs> so I'll come back and we'll continue. I'm back and I've already done two coats, but it still needs working on. Now I'm just adding from the gold uh, to the raised uh, areas here to make it more uh, interesting and to give it highlights again and it's not completely dry the green so it just goes uh, really well because uh, now it blends uh, together it's not stark uh, gold so I quite like what's happening here and sometimes it pays off not to be patient <laughs> and uh, wait for it to completely dry so that's what I'm doing and I'm just winking it as I said it's uh, let's hope for the best and I also added here so there will be some highlights and I've painted the right side with the lighter uh, shade of fair uh, red and the darker one uh, on the left also again it's more interesting it's more uh, it's less uh, looks like plastic when you have several shades and I'm just uh, playing around with the color and again I need everything to dry so uh, I can see what's happening I have put a little bit too much gold here so I'm just going in with the red so I'll wait for it to dry and I'll come back I'm back and this uh, piece needed like three coats and I've added a little bit more gold here because it was too harsh the green and now I'm gonna glue it here and the heart I just added to the red a little bit of the gold so it would be more interesting and this will go here so my trusted silicone glue and I'm going to attach this to the box we are at the end of this project that I don't know where it came from <laughs> really didn't uh, plan anything oh, 
Okay. Here it goes. I'm thinking that everything, I'm going to go over everything with the varnish so I'll know everything is uh, protected and sealed. It would be uh, probably a water-based varnish, I don't use the other kind. Here we go. I probably should have uh, showed you the inside before I glued this down and now I'll, I'll do it very carefully. So I've attached uh, the card as I said with the velcro dot so I can remove it and place other things here and I can attach it back like so. And of course, uh, there is another velcro dot here if I want to remove it Wait, here, like so. So this is uh, what I, <laughs> what did I tell you? Okay, I'll uh, leave it be for a min minute here. And what I've told you about horizontal and vertical, you could have made uh, this greeting cards vertical and depends on your box and it can also stand like this so it's up to you how you want to make it i'm really pleased with it this is going to be a really nice uh, gift for my hobby for his birthday i will probably do another one in a different kind of style for a uh, my older uh, boy who has a birthday also uh, three uh, three uh, days after my hobby so this is it I'll just put more uh, glue I'll probably should have used the uh, hot glue it would be faster uh, but didn't want to wait for the uh, hot glue gun to get warm so that this is it that's what I have and I'm really pleased with it I'm thinking that the varnish will just give it a little bit more uh, to the heart which uh, looks kind of bland with all this metallic color so this is it I hope you've enjoyed my <laughs> stumbling along uh, this uh, project and here it is either this way with the uh, gaming altered gaming cards or this one in a box so bye for now we'll be seeing you in my next video and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments bye <laughs>